What's up guys? I'm over here at Mimo's Mimo's Brick Oven, Staten Island. We got two pies to review. The Mimo's Brick Oven. You just saw that wonderful brick oven uh, in the beginning of the video next to a gas oven. They do it both. That's unique. They do the gas, they do the brick. I got a brick and a gas. And we're going to start with the quintessential stuff, the gas oven pizza, guys. Oh, baby. Just opened the box. Uh, nice aroma. Nice aroma. Nice size pie. Nice size pie. I told them well done. Looks looks okay. There's some brown, some dark brown going on. There's some dark brown going on on the edges. Let's go and get right to it, guys. Let's not waste any time looking at it. Let's go and taste it. Look at that. Ribbons of cheese. Nice on the fold. A little bit of crackling going on. And you know I love when there's no flop, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! All right. A little chewy. A little bit of aftertaste in that crust. Not sure what's going on, Mimo. Lots of cheese, as you can see, and it's not too greasy, which is a good sign. A little bit of sheen to it. It's shining. It's shining, but it ain't dripping. Okay, let's move on in. This is the quintessential New York style, Staten Island edition, Mimo's edition. What do I mean by quintessential New York style? You get a bunch of cheese on that pie, baby. A whole bunch of cheese. I'm talking a bunch. So much cheese that you will get a trail of ribbons. Ribbons of cheese will trail upon separation. Lots of cheese. This is the cheese slice that made New York famous. Uh, gets thick, gets thick around the end there. The cheese was not bad, nice and charred. You got those occasional brown char marks, baby. As for the crust, nothing really smoky about it. Though that undercarriage was pretty. There is some char marks on it. And the crust is, uh, it's, there's some blisters on it, which is a good sign. Uh, I'm not sure that they uh, proof this dough for too long. I don't think it undergoes any proofing or prolonged fermentation process. A little chewy, and the sauce was a little sweet. It's nice and red, it's nice and bright. But there's very little pulp. You see that? There's no chunks of tomato present in the sauce. Which tells me that there is a possibility of some tomato paste involved in the, in the process of cooking that sauce. But these are minor gripes, guys. I'll tell you one thing. There's a nice amount of sauce to go with that nice amount of cheese. This pie is loaded. It didn't flop. Much respect to that. Pizza gets cold. One more fold. Still some crackling going on. And yeah, come on. Come on. What are we going to score? The standard cheese from Mimo's. What can we give a pizza like this? It is a standard New York cheese pizza, okay? Not my favorite. The quintessential stuff. I am a fan of the old with the new. I like pizza like the Fara. Lucali. It's a mix of New York with a little bit of Naples in it. It's a mix of New York and Italy. This right here, guys, is pure New York. And what I give these pies usually, seven and a half, when it's, when it's done like this, which is very good, it's not Joe's. It's not Joe's. I'll tell you why. The crust, it was a little chewy. It wasn't the fluffiest. It wasn't light. And it's not as light and airy as, let's say, Joe's, which is legendary, or Luigi's. Um, sauce, sauce was a little pasty. Uh, got a dock points for that. Uh, not the tightest pizza. You see when the cheese, when it trails like that, it doesn't stay together upon separation. That's a minor gripe. But I like my pizza. I like my pizza a little neater than this. I like it a little neater. When you see cheese hanging off like that, 
That's why I dock points. And that is why I'm giving this pizza a solid, solid 7.3. Not bad. Pretty good. I will definitely come here again when I'm close and I just want a $10 pie. No brainer. I'm going to go home and scoff this thing down. Good pizza, but it's not elite. So now let's go and see what's underneath this bad boy, guys. Because there is more pizza coming to your table, to your YouTube channel, to your couch, to your coffee table, to your kitchen, wherever you may be. It's, the pizza's been sitting in this box for a much longer time than that other one. Let's get the light on here. The sun is going down. This is not a specialty pie. It's just a pie with toppings. I usually don't do toppings. You know why I don't do toppings? I'll tell you why. Because if you review a pizza with sausage on it, it, masks the, it, it dilutes the flavor. It masks the flavor of the pizza. When I review pizza, I'm reviewing the three components. The three fundamental components of pizza. Uh, crust, sauce, cheese, right? So the minute you put pepperoni on it, sausage and, and olives and all that, it makes it harder to judge the sauce and the cheese. So that's why I, I, you know, I only review plain on this channel. But uh, you know what? I wanted some sausage on my pizza today. I wanted sausage on my pizza today. And I freaking ordered one with sausage. And you guys are going to come along for the ride as I taste it. This one's still crackling. Ribbons of cheese trailing separation. A little floppier. I don't think this thing would have flopped if I ate it fast. It's also heavier because of the topping. So... Now, I just checked the menu, and this is indeed a gas oven pie. So, uh, it's essentially the, the same same pizza. I thought it was made in the brick oven, but the uh, he uses the brick oven for the authentic Napolitanas. So, this place, Mimo's Italian Trattoria, is actually a pizzeria that makes both New York pizza and authentic Napolitana-style pizzas. So, that's interesting. That's good to know. So, in a sense, this is kind of the same pizza I just reviewed. Made in the same oven, same crust, same sauce. It's just topped. So, I'm just going to review the toppings, which I don't usually do on this channel, but why not? They call this the Honeymooners Pie. The Honeymooners Pie. Why, I don't know. Maybe the owner, Mimo, likes to show the Honeymooners, but uh, it's made with Calamita olives. Look at that. These are some pretty good olives, guys. These aren't the black canned olives that you see in so many pizzerias. The black canned olives that you can find at, uh, in the supermarket in aisle 20 near the Chef Boyardee cans. No, these are not that. This is good stuff, man. Good olives. And the sausage is sliced very differently. I've never seen sausage on a pizza like this. It's kind of like slivered. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. So yeah, same score as the regular one. It's the same pizza. It flopped a little. It's a little heavier. Uh, you know, I, I only review plain on this channel. And specialty pies. This is not a specialty pie. This is a pizza with toppings on it. This is a regular standard pizza with toppings on it. A specialty pizza is like a pesto pie. Uh, or a white pie. Or, a you know, a shrimp scampi pie or whatever, you know. So, yeah, I'm not going to score this one, but nice to talk about toppings a little bit. And that's a wrap. Nice kid inside. Nice kids inside. Very good staff. Friendly staff. Mimos here in Great Kills. Come out and try it if you're in the hood. Staten Island. Pretty good spot. Pretty good deal. They make both Napolitana and New York. So, uh, that's unique. Pretty unique place. And so, yeah, that's a review, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Be well. Keep those bellies full, preferably with two pies of pizza. <laughs> Be well, guys. Until next time, this is Antonio signing off.